Hi, I forgot to turn the camera on. I just got back. We just started uh, cutting things up to make the front cover and realized you guys weren't there. <laughs> so, hello. So what I'm doing is covering, um, if you'll remember, I cut, a, I took a piece of the six by eight paper and I had to cut it down a little bit because there was um, this one was originally had a hinge on it so um, the hinge after it came off it made it just about this size which I thought this is perfect I can use this for the front cover and I'll show you how that's going to work so I took a piece of um, plain craft paper and it measures this is this is six by eight well no it's less than that really it is five and three eighths this way by ooh eight and fifteen sixteenths or eight inches and then I just centered it on here and I'm getting ready to flip it over and just spread that glue out that's under there And so this paper is seven and three eighths by almost ten inches. Now the reason I did it this way is because I want to um, cover this chipboard, and I want I was hoping that it would you know that I could cover it neatly, and then put this over the top here. We always hope. I don't know how bad the chipboard's going to break, so I'm just going to ease it in a little bit on all four sides temporarily, just to kind of see if it cracks or makes a funny noise. <laughs> So I'm just slowly walking those papers around and um, getting them a little weaker, stretching out the fibers, because I don't want the paper to crack. Now, um, some people can fold these in and they get a perfect thing every time. I am not one of those people. <coughs> I actually usually draw a line. I have to draw a line for myself. But... You can just snip this into, I don't know, leave about um, maybe an eighth of an inch there. Something like that. There you go. Um, now, I'm being brave, honestly. I am honestly being brave because I normally have to draw mine in totally to get it to make any sense to me. But a lot of people don't have to do that. So I thought, see, I can't even cut a, I can't even cut a thing to make it even down there. The idea is to try and cover that corner. If we can't cover it, we have extras. Whoops, I think I cut that one way too deep. So anyway, I like to start with the sides first. I'm going to put this Fabri-Tac along the edge. I gotta restart my timer there. And I like to pull that in from the center. This is the same way you would wrap the um, front and back cover if you were making um, a book with a 
hinge in it. Hinge, a spine. It would be similar to this, yes. <laughs> Did I say that right? I don't know. Now there's less liquid in our, you know, this has the acetone base where other glues are often a, a liquid base, um, a fluid ba base. This um, acetone is pretty strong smelling actually. And a lot of times people will use um, tape in conjunction with this, like the score tape. And I think part of that is that it immediately holds down to your your um, item. So it, it does give a, a nice good grip there. Okay, now I need to find my bone folder. And I want to bring these corners in right here. And I'm just... I don't know if you can see how that works. But it just kind of folds it around where this one is not. And I just kind of go around the edge like I'm driving a car around a really uh, thick, <laughs> really um, sharp corner. There we go. Now let's go down and get all these. I just like to get those done. Get them out of my way. I'm going to go this way. It's easier for me to just pretend like I'm just driving this big white limousine around the corner. There you go. <laughs> Get your limousine, and we're going out for a ride, waiting for the glue to drop. Well, the guys are here building the fence. So that's really nice. Got little puppies here. Oh my gosh. Yep, it is a little cutie. Oh my gosh. Yep, yep, yep. It is a little beauty puppy. <laughs> She's so funny. Libby scared her today. She was just being a big dog excited, but poor little otter. She was running for her daddy. Nice to have nephews come and work at the house. The brothers, they work together. Um, they do um, construction. Nathan has his license now, so that's great. So proud of him. And Justin, wow, he can um, he can create artistic um, things out of wood. It's just amazing. Yeah, pretty amazing boys. Cardstock does not like to stick to cardstock. I think it's because it's kind of porous, maybe, and it starts sucking up the glue really fast. Okay. So there is one side, and there is the other. 
Now I'm going to put this one up here. And then on the back, we're, we'll place another one. Okay. So let's ink this up. Ink, ink, ink. And like I said, this is just regular craft cardstock. I got it at Michael's. Um, they have two kinds. One is a kind of a light color, and then there's this darker color. You kind of have to look for the darker one. It's not exactly in the same place if you want the darker color. Okay, let's put this one down. Oh, I shouldn't have turned this over. Sh shame on me. Sh -sh shame on me. Turned it over. Okay, look at that. Oh, it feels nice too. Okay, oh, that looks good. Yes, yes, yes. Now, Now my mind is working differently. Could do a slit and a slit. Bring the tie right there. But I don't think so. I don't think we'll do it that way. Okay. Let's get the backing on here. And we will use... Gosh, I'm, I'm getting down on my pieces here. We can go this way or that way, this way or that way, this way or that way. Um, we have that same one. That'll be a journaling card. Oh, here's a piece of the long paper. Do that one or this one? Small rooster or big rooster? I think we better save that for something else. I just have a feeling. I have a feeling. Okay, so I do want to cut this down just slightly. Um, at the top because it's just slightly too long and I want to cut it right there as well 
So we'll cut this one first, otherwise I'll end up cutting off my mark, and then I still won't know where I'm cutting it. There we go. this up before we glue it down. Are y'all confused yet? How is she going to do that? Um, I actually just saw um, a couple different people do this closure um, in the last couple of weeks. And I thought, well, how cool is that? I can do that, too, because that is very cool closure. Okay. i got to get my sweater off here. It's cooking me. And I better get a drink of water. Oh, that's better. Okay. gluing my shirt. There are no rules about how close to the edge you should get for glue, but I always wonder. Okay. Top. There we go. I just want to make sure I got this on the correct way. It's a really nice writing board. That's for sure. But I'm going to put a hitching post on it, I think. There we go. Very nice. Good. Okay. So we're finding our center. 10 to 18, that'd be 8 inches. So we'd have 4 here. I need my glue. Okay. Right here. Let's punch a hole. Probably need the other one. get that out of there. See, it's plugged up now. Wow, look at how thick that is when you do that. Oh my goodness. And now this one. Oh, 
Okay. Now, let's see. Let me grab my hitching posts. Those are over here. That's not what I want. Now, the one thing we should do before we put our hitching post on is we probably need to use our gold if we have four golds. I know I do. I don't want bronze. I've been using the gold all the way through, so we want to do that. We probably should put on our corner things to make it look nice and neat and here is a gold tone hitching post and there is a screw and let me put some of these up here And set that one up there for right now. Okay, so I guess I'm not done with that glue. This one is going to have to have a, a deep brad in it. And so I put the brads back already. Okay, let me just set them down there as I go. Um, wrong one. Now, I'm going to need one of these with the longer shank on the bottom of it, which would probably be like that one. Let's see if it fits. Okay, now when they don't fit, because you're using a thick piece, you need to do a little construction with it. And that construction is to push this paper down, down, down. You don't need a great big hitch on it, you know. Um, you just need this to just start gripping. So what I'm doing is just pushing the papers down. I'm kind of Working on working the wood, uh, not the wood, the paper a little bit flatter right there. Okay, let's give it a try and see if it'll work. Cross your fingers, everybody. Here we go. I'm going to give it a good squeeze. We made it. Yes. Okay, we have that one. If I messed that up, there wouldn't be sense in going on with the rest of it. Okay. These are the Tim Holtz um, corner protectors. And the reason I use them is because they fold down easy and it makes it easy to put them onto the journal. So I really, really like that about these. I don't have to break my fingers trying to get them in place. see that okay and then just fold it around I mean you do have to still work with them a little bit I like to use um they go. Oh, here they are 
I like to use um, my bead, beading tool that has the flat pieces on it. And then I just crimp them down and hope they hold. I just think, I, I kind of think it makes it look a little nicer. Okay. There's still a little bit of work, you know, when you need to get them pulled in tight. But um, they're sure worth it, I think. I do have quite a few of the cheap ones. Um, I just don't find them as easy to apply to the pieces. Now it will come off if you're messing with it too much, um, especially in the beginning here while it's drying. Just trying to get the glue off of the front part of it there. And it will stick out a little bit because you've got this, you know, pretty much sticking around there. But there is glue on it too, so that is going to help hold it. Does that look nice? Okay. Our Liberty is being a naughty girl today with the guys working here on the fence. I'm using that to help me push that over and hopefully not get as much glue on my hands. This towel is going to have to go, go away. Okay. Oh, I know. Where is it? my gummy eraser. Where is it? I don't know where I put it. I need my gummy eraser. 
because it, remember it takes off that um, sl slimy stuff. Put a little water on this. Oh, I don't want to do that. I forget. With this paper, if you get water on it, it immediately starts to pull away from itself. So don't don't do paper. Uh, don't do liquid on this paper. So I'll have to darken that up a little bit now. You can see what it did there. It just kind of scarred it up good. But we'll go ahead and put a circular thing in here. Okay. I wish I'd have remembered that about this paper, about it getting wet. It does not like to get wet. Well, I don't suppose any paper does, does it? use my stomach as a place to help balance it. Okay, there's that. Now let's see if we can get the hitching post in here. It goes from back here to here. This is a little screw. Um, First, I'm going to check fit, make sure it works, and it does. So, what I'm going to do is give this a little spot of glue down in there. Just like that. Going to get it started. Okay. Gotta have something to stick in there. I don't have a screwdriver right here, so <laughs> so we use what we can, don't we? Okay, there's that and that. Now we need the, we can use twine. We can use the one I think fits best with this journal, which is this. Um, can use some green um, chiffon type stuff. It's all rayon I think but
Let's see. It actually, I would have to go through this way. I don't know if I can get two of them through there like I want. Can't open that enough to do that. Nope. Might just have to be one. Want to work, but it's not what I wanted. around this way oh and it's not long enough look at that and you would tie it into your bow right here not long enough let's see let's see where'd the other one go don't know oh here it is this this is a jumbo roll no, that, that's really not true. They're not as jumbo as they used to be. Okay. I'd rather have it way too long than to have it too short. Now this has a wire in it. I don't like to leave the wire in it. I just think that somebody will get poked and then they get hurt and, you know, what kind of journal am I selling if I'm selling one that hurts somebody? Well, it's just me. <laughs> and you really got to just keep running it through until it breaks. <laughs> And then you have to fetch it and figure out where it is. And let's see. Did it come through? Maybe it did. No way. That's not all of it. Impossible. There's still some in here. I can feel it. Well, we'll probably find it. Still some, got some in there. I can feel it. Let's see. Ouch, there it is. That's why I say you got to get rid of it. Because boy, that stuff hurts. Especially when it's really thin wire like this. that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little leery going through this. 
Okay, let's take this one out. And we'll go with this green, this other green. Finding its center. Centering that onto there. And then creating a bow. On the hitching post, a hitching post bowl. Bow, not a ball, a bow. And so far, so good. We'll leave a little bit of length on it. Okay. So there must still be wire in there because it's curling. You see that? Okay. So there is our front cover and our closure. That works well for the matchbook cover in the back. Okay. We are done for today. When we come back tomorrow, we are decorating the rest of the inside with some pretty simple pieces. Um, We'll do something about this upside down words here and then we'll be done. That'll be the, the last video other than the walkthrough, <clears throat> the flip through of the whole thing. Okay. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed um, learning how to make this extra hardboard cover. Um, it's a good way to um, create a cover for a journal that has a soft cover on it like this. So um, it still allows you to do that, but it kind of protects it as well. Okay, I will talk to you later, and I hope you all have a great evening. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. Um, I'm pumping it out almost every day now. Um, <clears throat> five to six days a week is what I'm planning on. <clears throat> I would like to get to every day, but... I have to be able to get far enough ahead to do that. So um, as I create more content, I will have more videos that I can do that with. And what else? Oh, leave me a comment. Say hi to me. You know, let me know how I'm doing. I hope I'm doing okay. Um, be kind. <laughs> I'm not a person that likes to be hurt. So I, I, I'm a gentle soul. Okay, I'll talk to you all later. I hope you have a great evening. It's going to be evening here. It'll be almost my pajama time. Yay! I love it when I can get back in my jammas. All right. I'll see you all later. Bye!